Hey, what's up? Thought I'd make a quick video here to share a little experience that I had with this thing, which might help many other people out there. Uh, so I began losing coolant out of my overflow reservoir. Uh, on a monthly basis, it was about a cup. So it looked like that much lower on the reservoir each and every month. So essentially, every single month, I check the oil levels, whatever dipsticks, I pull them out, and I check the coolant on this thing every single month. And I've done it with every car that I've had. This one uses no coolant whatsoever. It burns no oil whatsoever. So it kind of seems pointless to check it every single month. But the most important thing is to get used to what the levels look like. And so I thought, well, maybe I didn't pay attention to it last time. Maybe it's been using it over the series of a few months because coolant will go down eventually. The antifreeze won't evaporate, but the, the water content in it will slowly evaporate. So I topped it off back to the full mark, and about a month later I checked it again. And what do you know, it was down about a cup, about 250 mils on the reservoir. And so I knew I had a problem. A couple of months earlier, I pulled this out of it. This is the radiator cap that was on the car when I got it. It's got Japanese writing on it, so obviously it's from Japan. Uh, and it's in really good shape. Uh, the seals are nice and soft. I would say this is no more than three years old. And it was working just fine. Uh, but the problem with this is, it's too low of a PSI for this car. So I did some Googling, and I found that these cars ran a 13 PSI radiator cap, which is what this is, until August of 1996. And that is a 1997. This was the wrong radiator cap for it. Uh, I went fishing in my toolbox because I knew I had a few radiator caps from old Land Cruisers that I had and I replaced the radiators and just kept the old caps because they're in good shape. I put a 15.7 uh, PSI radiator cap into this thing, which is the right PSI for it, and it was fine for a couple of months until it started losing coolant. Began to suspect that the radiator cap was faulty. I put this one back on it. And sure enough, the coolant stopped disappearing. So it was obviously the radiator cap. Now, when a lot of people look at these things, they know that it's got the spring in it so that when the cooling system pressurizes, it will push the spring up. And, well, let me just show you. So this obviously sits here where the new radiator cap is. When the system pressurizes, it puts pressure on the spring here, on the seal itself, and coolant will then bypass the radiator cap once it gets to the right pressure into your overflow tank. And then once the vehicle cools down, once you've parked it up, this additional valve at the bottom of the radiator cap will then suction out. It'll pull out and come down and then draw coolant back from the radiator cap reservoir, sorry, into the cooling system. So it equalizes itself. Now what was happening with this was the mainspring, the pressurization spring on the, the different Land Cruiser cap that I put on here had stopped working. So the system was pressurizing to dangerous levels. And what was happening when it was driving only and under load and building pressure was it was getting so uh, over pressurized that it was dumping coolant out of its emergency dump here. So if the spring fails, it builds up too much pressure, it's just going to start pouring coolant out while you're driving. Secondly, I noticed a little bit of coolant crust around past the radiator hose clamps that had dripped down onto the timing cover itself down there. And so I knew that the system was overpressurizing. So I did the right thing. I found the right part number for this radiator cap. I ordered it and I put it in. And ever since then, it's been fine. But goes to show something that costs $23 uh, could potentially ruin a $6,000 engine. So if you are losing coolant but you don't have any visible leaks, uh, it might pay to have your radiator cap tested or just to replace it with another one, a brand new one, and, and just to see. It's not always something as catastrophic as a head gasket. All right, thanks for your time. Take care. Bye.